Police officers are gearing up for a massive show of force in their pay fight with a 1,000 strong rally at Parliament tomorrow. Senior frontline officers say they're simply paid too little for the crucial job they do. Detective Sergeant Chris Turner has been serving WA Police for almost 30 years, putting his life on the line more than once. But his and other senior police officers' base salaries are less than a third of the Premier's. If a poly sat where I work now in the, in the District Control Centre and saw how poorly resourced we are mm. and what actually goes on out there at night, I would like to think they'd be horrified. The 53-year-old spent much of his career in WA's top police squads. What he's dealt with is confronting. I've had a bin in the boot of my police car with body parts in it to take it back to the mortuary. I've sat in an autopsy where a man's head has been sitting on a bench looking at me for 14 hours uh, while the autopsy was done on his body that had been dismembered. Uh, that's just two. Chris Turner's also been shot at, badly bashed and bitten. At times he hasn't been able to go near his son, waiting to see if he'd contracted a contagious disease. I lost a lot of his life, unfortunately, to the job. If there's anything important that he has to go to, I always worry. Despite all this, Chris Turner says he wouldn't do anything else, but he and other officers want at least a 1.5% pay rise. And when you compare to what's being paid around the rest of Australia, it's dismal. The state government says it greatly values our force, but all it can afford to offer is a $1,000 a year raise. We can't conjure money out of the air. We've lost $5.4 billion since February. Uh, if we were to offer more, well then our wages policy would collapse. Tomorrow, police are escalating their campaign. More than a 1,000 expected to rally at Parliament. Our members are telling us that it is more violent than it's ever been in the past. The threat of terrorism is always there, so police officers have to be ever vigilant. They literally need to have eyes in the back of their head and know what's going on at all times because anything could happen at any time. Officers are already not finding drivers for minor traffic offences. If a pay deal isn't secured, there's likely to be further action. Alice Pooley, Nine News.